Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's so good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for all you do for this channel. God bless you, my people. Really appreciate you. I will pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. We've got an interesting one. Um, this one has just dropped. We know um, earlier on, um, ESN, the news broke out that the Eastern Security Network formed by um, IPOB, you know, the indigenous people of Biafra, that is their own security outfit. We know, however, um, it's not been accepted yet. The military, federal government are against them. They're even looking for them and all of that. But this ESN, they vowed that um, they are, they are going to defend their community and ensure that um, anyone perpetrating any criminal activities or any criminal act will be sent packing. The news that we just got right now is that um, after e ESN, hours after ESN allegedly uh, made a declaration that they've just killed a notorious bandit, Mieti Allah, response, and their response was quite shocking. Very, very shocking indeed. We'll bring you the details shortly. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, click on that notification bell. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. The situation of things in the country at the moment is getting many peace-loving Nigerians perturbed. As it seems, these Nigerians are beginning to fret over issues of insecurity in the country. They are beginning to demand that the government do the needful by ending all forms of insurgency in the country as soon as possible, as it seems the federal government and the state government are doing enough to ensure the peace returns to Nigerians soon. If you recall, some members of Unam Kanu's ESN Instant Security Network took to social media to celebrate their alleged victory. Members of the ESN were seen over the weekend celebrating the alleged killing of a notorious bandit, Mohammed Issa. They claimed that the ESN force, Northern Command, arrested and killed Issa. Hours after ESN released this statement, the Mieti Allah has acted through its Secretary General. Mieti Allah Kutal Ho Sal -e Hassan has denied the allegation that Isa is one of them. He revealed that his organization has no ties with any leader of a gang of Fulani bandits, Muhammad Isa, allegedly being killed by members of the ESN in Benue State. He, however, called on the security agents to arrest and prosecute all members of Unam Dikanu's ESN, killing innocent people. The statement released by the Secretary General of Mieti Allah has, however, attracted much attention. The majority thinks that all those involved in the alleged capture and killing of Mohammed Issa should be arrested and put in prison. There are a few others that think differently. This category of people reason that the Mieti Allah is disguising. They opine that they are not ready to tell Nigerians the truth. The only thing that we know in the first instance is that um, ESN is not recognized. <laughs> it's not uh, a security outfit that is recognized because even in the Southeast states, all the Southeast governors, they came out and um, they openly told Nam the Kano that we cannot support you, unfortunately. That every other security outfit that is formed in the country, if we look at Amoteku, the one of the Southwest, the Southwest governors came together, they decided um, how the outfit will look like. They gave it the name. But well, we know this ESN is solely is solely the initiative and solely um, the the idea of Nam de Kano. As such, they stated they will not support him. But however, that has not um, deterred or stopped Nam de Kano from still um, following and pursuing what they've been doing. You know, the ESN they've still been operating um in the and miss that uh gov the federal government have been looking for them you know there was one time and um, federal government stated that uh, whoever has um identity or whoever knows where they are located that some sort of ransom will be given to them so we know that um the federal government they are not in support of esn but esn they, they state that um their main mission is to ensure that they defend um the lives of um pro uh, of citizens and also their properties since our own government has failed us so after they went about celebrating they were celebrating on the media that they've actually captured one of um the, the leader of the bandits mohammed Issa. 
It was so surprising that um, AT allowed, that's the uh, Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria. They came out and they stated that uh, <laughs> uh, that, that person that you are rejoicing over that you killed is not one of us. That was their response. Their response was that whoever you claim that you killed is not one of us and they've condemned the lawlessness in the country. They, so what they are stating right now is that um, ESN is not uh, a recognized outfit and if ESN is rejoicing that they've just killed someone, then um, they need to be arrested. All of them need to be arrested and they need to be sent to jail. That is what um, um, Mieti Allah stated and Nigerians have reacted. So um, they are saying, someone says that if Mohammed Issa is not your member, why are you crying? Are you now commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? How many Fulani headsmen have you given order to be arrested and prosecuted since? This person feels that uh, uh, Mieti Allah, they are claiming they don't know any Mohammed Issa. That, but why is this, why has this one touched them so much to the point they are stating that... Um, the ESN, they should be arrested, whoever the group that carried out this killing. How many times have they requested that the headsmen, Fulani headsmen, who have been carrying out killings, kidnapping, and all sorts of criminal activities, how many times have they arrested them? That's the question this person is putting before Mieti Allah. Another person states that um, Mieti Allah has been bestowed the right to instruct armed forces as they will do. This person is really shocked and surprised that so it's Mieti Aladan is now instructing or calling the shot right now. They are the ones stating that um, these are the people who should be prosecuted. So if they are the ones calling the shot, what about their brothers, the Fulanese, the killer Fulanese uh, headsmen who are perpetrating criminal activities all over the country in different states? They are everywhere. They are all over the country. What about those um, Fulani headsmen? How many of them has he ordered that they should be arrested, they should be prosecuted? That something smells really fishy here. Another person says, no, the government of President Buhari has failed Nigerians woefully in securing lives and property. Yes, uh, uh, that, that is the truth. Because if we look at it from this angle, if Buhari is even doing the right thing, if uh, the, the, the security, if the country is properly secured, I don't think IPOB will be thinking of setting up a security outfit in the first place. That will, They will not be thinking that direction. They will be thinking about something else. It's because the country is not secured. No one is trying to secure it. Buhari is not ready. It's even making matters worse. So that person feels like <laughs> that is the first issue we have. Anyway, my people, let's hear your own take. Let's hear what you feel. Mieti Allah, they are stating that uh, Mohammed Issa is not one of them. But at the same time, they are stating that um, IPOP should be arrested. Let's hear what you think. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.